The pandemic has shut down virtually every walk, run or ride that benefits a nonprofit. The DAV 5K is no exception. But WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer is live for us this morning with how you can still participate in one and what services the DAV is offering to local veterans who may need them. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Adrian. Oh man, I'm telling you that usually at this time of year, this weekend, we should be gathered down here at the banks. It's always such a great morning, usually kind of chilly uh, as in years past, but it, it's a time where all of the local veterans here come for the DAV 5K, the walk, the run, the ride, and it's really so that we can show our support for those in our community. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little different this year. There will not be a large gathering down here at the banks because this year, the DAV 5K is going to be more of a virtual event. So they're asking that you still register and participate, but you do that sort of on your own. Gather with some friends, maybe hit the trail. Again, it's going to be beautiful this weekend, so it's a great time to be doing it. They're hoping that uh, people still also offer some generous donations because the needs in the veteran community right now are greater than ever. Because disabled veterans are can be disproportionately affected by downturns and things like employment uh, and of course a, a pandemic uh, where a lot of veterans are themselves or disabled veterans themselves are um, uniquely exposed uh, to this disease, to this virus. Uh, we have seen an uptick in need, uh, particularly around uh, employment. Now that's why the DAV launched a COVID relief fund. The fund gives immediate cash assistance to service connected disabled veterans who have lost their jobs as a result of COVID-19. Up to $250 is available to all veterans who qualify and you do not have to be a member of the DAV. All right, here's the deal. You can still register for the 5K and uh, if you do register, they'll send you that race bib. They'll send you the medal. So for those of you who have done this many years uh, in a row, of course, sometimes that's sort of a nice piece of memorabilia and all of that swag, it'll get mailed to your house. Probably not in time for this weekend, of course, but uh, it's still nice to have and nice to be able to make that donation that stays right here in our community as well. We shared links to that and to the COVID-19 relief fund on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.